Here's a simple exercise that will change your life as it has changed mine and thousands of other people. Let's Take a sheet of paper, again. write okay. your current goal or problem at the top of the page in the form of a question. For okay. example, you could write, how can we double our sales over the next 24 months? Right. Then force yourself to write 20 answers to that question. This is not easy the first time you do it, believe me. Nonetheless, by disciplining yourself to write at least 20 answers to that question, you will be absolutely amazed at the quality of the answers that appear on the page before you. I know, right? This is called mind storming, sort of like brainstorming. It's one of the most powerful creative thinking exercises ever discovered, and all it takes is a piece of paper, a pen, and a few minutes of your time. Yeah. Once you've written down 20 answers, and you can write more answers if you like, but 20 is the minimum, go over your list and select one answer which you can implement immediately. Faster you implement this idea, the more ideas that will come yeah. to you. Ask yourself yeah. this question on a regular basis. What one problem, if I were to solve it, would have the greatest positive impact on my business? Exactly. Or you can write, what one goal, if I were to achieve it, would have the greatest positive impact on my sales and profitability? Whatever your faith in yourself should overcome your insecurities. Imagine yourself a king and you will become a king. Your faith in yourself should overcome your insecurities. Ah, that's why this. Wonderful song yeah, by Leonard right. Cohen called Come Heal or Come Healing. So it begins, Oh, gather up the brokenness, bring it to me now. A fragrance of those promises you never dared to vow. And then he says at some point, Oh, troubledness concealing an undivided love. Heart mm. beneath is teaching to the broken heart above. So this poet, prophet, poet, visionary, saying we have two hearts. Is the brokenness above. And I don't understand what you're if you about. wish to see the truth, then hold no opinions for or against anything. To set up what you like against what you dislike is the disease of the mind. Yeah. Boy, you ready to live by that? Realize how spacious you have to be to live by that kind exactly. of philosophy. Exactly. No opinions. Philosophy. No expectations. That's the fiercest kind of philosophy that I can find. And I like to have that kind of fierce friend who hangs out with me, who keeps reminding me how much I have opinions. This should be this, and this should be this, and I want everybody to be this, and wouldn't exactly. it be better if this? Instead of just being spacious with it, you do what you do. It doesn't mean you don't have opinions. It means you are not attached to your opinions. Exactly. It you must learn when to leave. Prince value through scarcity. The world belongs to optimists. Because if you're going to do anything big, you have to believe that it can happen. Exactly. Otherwise, it never will. That Shampuri thing. You must believe that it can happen. Oh my God, don't believe me. How doubts you're already feeling already. It's in world world forever, man. People always meet at the same level yeah. of, of um, emotional development or trauma resolution. Yeah. So that water finding its own level. But when one person so starts growing and the other doesn't, it becomes impossible. I know. Either the person that does the growing gives it up and goes back to their previous selves, which is almost impossible. Yeah. Or the other person is challenged to start growing themselves, or they're going to split. That, that's just what's going to happen. People always meet at the so same true. level of, of um, emotion. So true, man. You get tested the most when it's time for you to elevate. Don't break. There are four people. Losers let it happen, winners make it happen. Losers yeah. see thunderstorms, yeah. winners see rainbows. Yeah. Losers see icy streets, winners put on their ice skates. Losers Straight take up. chances.